Hello, today we're going to go over Pentair's Workfront Request Queue Manager training. This is the second step in the process. Most of the time, a marketing manager will fill this role, but it is dependent on your segment. A project requester, which can sometimes be you, the request queue manager, but oftentimes it will be product managers, operations, maybe a project manager, someone will make a request into your team and your job is going to be to review the request queue. In some cases, the request queue manager is also the project planner. I would encourage you to also watch the project planning training. The request queue manager reviews all incoming requests and either puts them under review, on hold, canceled, or converts them to a work in progress. As a request queue manager, you log into Workfront through our SSO. Once you log in, you will see a few different sections. You will have projects that are new requests, approved requests not yet assigned, requests under review, requests on hold or awaiting feedback, and in progress and completed requests. If you need to make a request yourself, you can click the new request tab. If you'd like training on that, please watch our requester reviewer training. In this case today, we're going to look at a few projects. If you deny a project, the project will appear down at the bottom where it says canceled and denied requests. If you approve a project, it will go under your approval. In this case, we have a project that has come into us and we want to decide whether or not we would like to approve it. We can see here some basic information that it's a literature, a product selection guide, and that it needs translation. If we click on the project, we can see the documents that have been uploaded to make sure that the project has enough materials to continue on to create. Here we can look at further request details or even review the form that was submitted. We can also provide an update if we want some information to go out to the team. These updates will be attached to the entire request and project. If you go back to your request view, just click on the request at the top of the screen. There's also an executive overview. The executive overview will show you all the projects that have been done across aquatics, filtration, and flow technology. The operations overview will review just your segment. In this case, we have five projects that have been submitted. Over here, you can review the requests that you've submitted and see what part of the process they are in. Lastly, you can customize your tabs to make sure you have the right things at the top of the screen. Again, you can always request a project yourself. Here. It is your responsibility to approve place under review, awaiting feedback, on hold, denied, or cancel the request. Canceling a project means the project will be terminated. I encourage you to provide some information and feedback in that note section that I showed you if doing so. If you deny a project, this is usually means that there aren't sufficient materials. So when you deny it, I also encourage you to place some notes there stating why it was denied. If you put a project on hold or await feedback, this could be a variety of reasons. Awaiting feedback might mean that you need information for your team, and on hold might mean that we just don't have funding for it or we're waiting for the later part of the year to address this project. But today we're going to approve our project. Now, we're going to leave this project as new for the sake of our training, but if you were to click approved, it would be assigned to certain individuals. You need to make sure that the, it is assigned to the correct team as well as the correct planner. And in this case, for flow technologies, the planner would be Rudy or me. However, in other segments, that could be yourself or another individual. Make sure to put that here. You can also change the final due date. When the project is approved, it will appear down here in your in-progress and completed requests. Since these projects have now been approved, it will be 
up to your planner to convert them into a project and associate all the proper tasks. This concludes our request queue manager training. Next up, we will talk about the project planner to train, where tasks will be attributed to new projects that have been converted from requests. Thank you.